In this video, we will learn about separate compilation in C++. Separate compilation is a feature of C++. That means the code sees only the declarations of the types and functions used from other files. The definitions of the types and functions are in separate source files and get compiled separately. There are many reasons that separate compilation is a good idea, namely code organization, minimum compilation times, and minimizing the chance of errors. Large projects have a lot of source code, and many projects have not just one, but many developers. There is a need to keep compilation times low while also enabling the sharing of functionality between different files. The declarations of the shared functionality get placed in a file, called a header file, and other files import that header file in order to access its functions. In this way, a header file acts as an interface. For example, when we include a header file like iostream into our program with the include preprocessor directive, that allows the C++ file to utilize any of the functions declared in the iostream header file. So you may have many files like example.cpp, example2.cpp, and example3.cpp, all of which utilize the code in the iostream header file. Separate compilation is what makes this abstraction of functionality possible. If it were not available in C++, then we would have duplicate code, as any reused functionality would be rewritten in each of the CPP files. Instead, we can import the header file at the top of the code, and then use any of its functions in our example 1, example 2, and example 3 programs.